You're so cute. Go with mama. Go with mama. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Uh, we are heading to Thousand Island Lakes via the Rush Creek Trailhead. And if you can see in the background here, we've got a little bit of uphill. And before we get started, I thought I would let my cohorts introduce themselves. So we'll start with Mo. Hi, I'm Mo. I'm Susan. I'm Melissa. All right, well, we're heading out on a three day backpacking trip and uh, we're looking forward to some gorgeous weather. We'll see about thunderstorms, but um, anyway, we'll see you in a bit. We hiked around 10 miles from the Rush Creek Trailhead to Thousand Island Lake and logged over 3,000 feet of ascent and 700 feet of descent. The first two miles of the trail is very steep with more than 2,000 feet of ascent and it is exposed to the sun from morning until mid-afternoon. So be sure and start early. All right, we're gonna be hiking up to uh, past Gem Lake and we'll figure out where we're gonna start or where we're gonna camp. This is the start of the trailhead. That waterfall you see off to the right is Rush Creek Falls, I believe. Not much of a waterfall right now. It's so dry up here. But there was quite the thunderstorm yesterday, so they did get a little rain. There is where we came from. About a mile worth of, uh, I guess I should focus down more this way. Um, done about 1.1 miles so far. We came from way back there. This is the trail. Y'all act like you're hiking this way. And there's Maureen. Uh, hi! <laughs> and you're hiking out of the sun. I can see June Lake Ski Resort. All right, Maureen, give us a lowdown. About? What are we looking at here? Okay, I don't know what we're looking at. I think this is a trolley, according to Susan, where some workers ride the trolley up to go up to the mine and it's still in use. Going down would kind of be a little precarious. Oh, I'm up for an adventure. Yeah. If there was snow on it, I wouldn't get any ice. Yeah, I just close my eyes and, you know. <laughs> That though, I think the uh, yeah. trail skirts to the right here. Yeah. Just in case you were tempted to go up the tramway, <laughs> you get your ass run over. <laughs> More uphill. But anyway, here's the junction for Clark Lake, and we are headed to Gem Lake. And Agnew Lake access. That's why we've seen better days. Do a quick view here. So pretty. We're above the waterfall. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I thought we would take a moment to have a 
Trail Etiquette 101 because we just had a very rude, rude experience with a couple of hikers coming down on a very narrow section. We were coming uphill and they were stopped at the top where they could see downhill. That's one of the reasons why you always stop for folks that are coming uphill. If they want to motion you to, you know, come on if we need if you need a moment to or they need a moment to take a break, that's cool. But if you see people coming uphill, you pull over, stop and let them come up because the section that we were on was very narrow. I had to go up a bunch of rocks and I could have easily fallen. And Mo, you want to share your moment? Well, <laughs> he so he's so uh, I don't know how you want to put it, but he was motioning me to, to move, move off the trail. And to j make a joke of it, I was going like this, like right or left. Yeah. And he wasn't taking my joke, so I actually enlightened him. And I said, well, you know, the uphill hiker has the right of way, so you should have kindly moved off to the side. And he just kind of huffed yeah. and went past me. <laughs> and then the woman says, oh, well, why don't you go? After she was like right next to me. So... Um, anyway, if you're out hiking, you see people, especially with backpacks, and they're heavy, and you can tell they're like really working hard to get up the hill, let them freaking go, please. I'd appreciate it. And if you don't, and you happen to see us, we'll enlighten you. <laughs> <laughs> we have no problem enlightening people. So this is Gem Lake. And that back there is where we're headed. Very pretty. Oh, there's camps over there. Oh, on, that, on the other side. Um, if we're going to go to the end. During a bio break near the Gem Lake Dam, I stumbled across a uh, debris field of sorts about 50 feet above the trail. It was very concerning finding shoes, a coat, tent stakes, and other backpacking items as you can see from these photos. I reported the find along with the photos and GPS coordinates to the Mono County Sheriff's Department. They plan on investigating to see if there have been any missing uh, persons reported or if maybe they rescued someone in this area and the backpack was left behind and then the contents were strewn all over the place. You just never know what you're going to find out there. building. Good job. She's the smarter one, although that's where the mules were. We did that right there. So we are headed to Clark Lakes. Over there. Oh yeah, probably where the horseback riders go.
ton of tents over there. It's a stream. Oh, talk about clear. Look at that. You can see everything. Fishy, fishy. Oh, that was fast. Okay, so Mo, <laughs> what are you going to have for dinner tonight? You know, I think I'm going to eat my fresh food first, like my tortillas and my tillamook cheese. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe uh, I have bacon, um, cheesy mashed potatoes, stuffing. Wow. And You're making sausage. me hungry. <laughs> that all sounds delicious. Yep. Unfortunately, most of it's not on my diet, but... Well, these are low-carb tortillas. Oh, okay. Well, well I could... Balance. Maybe I can mooch off you later. There you go. I brought a whole pack. <laughs> whole pack. Please, take some. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
This was a oh, tough hike. This is glorious hot water wash up. Okay, I've got to get you on. Oh, She's nice hot washing water. Ah, oh, from such a long day. Yes. comes we're gonna hear it I'm sure we'll be fine now all right so on the right side of the screen well yeah I guess the right I um, mean we're gonna have Mo's tent and the center is mine and then we have Melissa in the rainbow over it's the far one and the other green one closest to me is Melis Melissa's. Did I say that right? Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> yes. Susan's in the rainbow. Tarp tent. Rainbow. And we have a Hyperlite Durago 2. And Mo, what's your tent again? Mo's tent is a Z-Pax duplex. <laughs> it is just stunning here. I tell you.
like a collapsible or just a That's called an ultralight rat. <laughs> moods of the Thousand Island Lakes. At least there's no thunder and lightning.
so. Casualty of the trail. <laughs> 